So it is now midterm season. It's honestly crazy to see that some people are now done with school. Like I know some friends that are done with school this week, but I still got five more weeks left. And I guess that like shows the pros and cons of a quarter system. I honestly really like the quarter system because if there's a class I don't like, then I get to be done with it quick. And it can be fast paced sometimes, but that can also be a good thing for some people it's just one of the cons i would say is that you start school late and you end school late okay so the past couple of weeks or the past couple of days have been a little hectic because my grandparents are here from korea um so i've been spending time with them and then right now it's 12 21 a.m i did a little bit of homework and now i'm about to go to sleep but i do plan on filming more because i feel like i haven't filmed a lot for this vlog yet <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been so busy this quarter. Like, I just have so many assignments, and on top of that, I have been working a bit more. I picked up a couple more shifts, but starting this week, I don't work as much. So I think that'll definitely help me with time. And I still have a lot of assignments. And it's getting a bit busy since it is midterm season but with the more time i have i'm hoping that i can work and do all my assignments on time while having some self-care and the thing is i like don't really give myself much break time i guess and there was this one book i read recently and it stated how lots of people feel guilty when giving themselves like a break and prioritizing self-care and i think that's so true and i think it needs to be normalized like self-care needs to be normalized because it's so important because low-key lately i've been feeling very burned out and i think a big part of that is because i haven't given myself a time to rest so all of y'all out there make sure to give yourself at least like one day to just chill do no homework nothing just rest So starting this quarter, I added a major and I was originally a political science major, but I added criminology. And so last quarter, I was minoring in criminology, but then I decided to add it as an actual major. And this was kind of a hard decision for me because criminology and political science are in two different schools. So then it meant that I had more school requirements which meant more classes to take and so that was a bit scary because it felt very overwhelming but in the end i do really like criminology and so i thought i would just do it and uci is really unique for having a criminology major because not a lot of schools do have it so i thought i would take advantage of that on a side note i'm going to korea soon in less than a month and i'm very excited but also kind of overwhelmed because i have a lot to do before then and also when i get there and so it's a whole other thing that has been on my to-do list but i will get through it and i'm gonna stop stressing about it too much
So yeah, get ready to see some Korea content coming up soon and also on my TikTok. It's linked in my description. Also, I can't believe that my first year of college is coming to an end soon. Like, the year went by actually so quickly, it kind of scares me. I am very much ready for my second year and the summer especially, but also I'm, I will be taking summer classes, so I'll still be busy, but at least it'll be in Korea. And so I get to study in like cute cafes and all that, so I'm very looking forward to it.